the most primitive fish in the fossil record and the most primitive fish alive today did not possess vertebrae in the modern sense. Instead, they began with small pieces of cartilage above the notochord called neural arches and later below the notochord called pleurocentra and intercentra. The notochord was the original support rod down the longitudinal axis of the early vertebrates. Over time, these separate cartilage elements became larger and they began to articulate and fuse. At first, they formed around the notochord so that the notochord still ran unrestricted through their length, but later they began to replace the notochord as they fused. They were converted into bone and these solid structures then became composite vertebrae in that they were composed of separate bony elements originally, the neural arches, the pleurocentra, and the intercentra. In the amniotes, the intercentra were largely reduced or lost, and the bodies of vertebrae are composed primarily of the pleurocentra.